pretty Kirby is, I probably feel like a lot of these combos might work pretty decently, but, or on the flip side, Kirby might pop out a bit much. JJ JJ is looking like he is SDIing like it's Smash 4. Man is wiggling his stick with the intent to break it, but already 80%, yeah. and that's like the Bayonetta special. All you really need is one starting option to go ahead and rack up all that damage, but 59%, and this is where it's going to be dangerous. I actually think that Bayo's going to have a little bit of trouble getting to edge against Kirby with that down air, easily able to clip out up B, which does not snap. Yeah. Ooh, okay. Some ground movement coming off of the Bayonetta, but... A quick spot dodge is going to lead to the death. Why? Well, you know, Jay Shaw just jumps off stage all of a sudden, celebrating his early stock with a suicide. A bit unfortunate <laughs> right there. Yeah, it looked like I just a near off stage to an accidental air dodge. Maybe trying to roll on stage instead, not finding it. Yeah, the old buffered options gets you every time in the Wi Fi mm. meta. But now we've got these throw combos. Just going for the fourth throw, no more up tilts. just not quite connecting here. JJ using his character's aerial mobility really, really well, which is kind of unique, considering Kirby mm. isn't really the flashiest character in air. He's got a ton of jumps, but not a lot of drift. Wow. Got a nice little combo there from, from Montrose. Working out, but then missing that one. Having to suffer land -a lag. If you don't know, Bayonetta, after using all of their up B and side Bs, suffers a whole lot of landing lag, which is the perfect time to punish. Very true. A lesser known mechanic, ROC lag or special lag, either or. It's basically, if you see Bayo get a combo, mm. she doesn't kill with it, he's going to be in trouble. But right there, no trouble whatsoever as Montrose just looks JJ in the eye and loads up that left. Yeah, we actually saw that uh, forward smash a little bit earlier in the set, but it did not connect the first time. Ooh, that time, really seeing the power of Bayonetta smash attacks coming out at around 100%, dying off the other side of the stage. Kirby, another character that does not lack for kill power already almost killing off the top at 120 but another combo for montrose taking to the top no jj very good sdi again it really feels like montrose is struggling to connect the second up b there and that is going to be the main source of this man's damage jj making this a difficult match for him absolutely very good first showing of montrose here at xanadu especially against someone like jj who has won xanadu's in the past yeah, it's a bit of a All hard right. draw to get into top 64, but the guns called out with that dash attack. Very good punish there by JJ. Good lead by Montrose. I'd like to see a little bit of patience on his side. No need to rush it, but instead, tons yeah. of damage, 93% already. So Montrose is playing the ledge very well, you know, giving up some uh, stage. He's giving up that stage positioning, but honestly working out, really just baiting JJ to come to, to them. But sometimes when you're on that ledge, it puts you into a precarious situation. Yeah, it looked like Montrose understood that and DI'd away instead of in, because he could have just gotten the uh, the toss into the down air. We've seen JJ scam so many stocks early on, but not this time. Montrose yeah. knows the matchup a little bit better than most. Ooh, that down tilt perfectly timed. Is, Is that going to kill? Oh my god, Montrose misses one tech and JJ with the hardest punish. A second down tilt to secure a trip, and then the forward smash, sending this man to the blast zone. Sub 80. That was unbelievable. JJ knowing exactly what to do. Honestly, setting that up with the down tilt to F tilt to knock Montrose down again, right? To get that second down tilt. I feel like it could be really easy to say that JJ stole that game away, but the whole lead up into that entire last stock was phenomenal of stage awareness from JJ knowing exactly where they were to find the stock. Oh yeah, I definitely agree right there. That's just pure character knowledge. The problem that is most people don't know what Kirby has in his back pocket when it comes to killing moves or setups. Most people don't know that this character's smash attacks have been buffed more times than I can count. And now Montrose knows that when he's above 50, he best be on notice. Mm. Yeah, both of these characters definitely not the heaviest characters in the game. So we're gonna be seeing some early stocks if they can land their heavy moves. I'd like to see Montrose go a little bit off stage and challenge JJ's linear recovery with something like either a down air or even a witch time. You can go ahead and counter that. It is a not a particularly quick up B from Kirby. So just go ahead and throw something out there and challenge it. You may get an early stock if you do. Hmm. Hey, that's some good damage. Not taking off the top like Smash 4 days. But still at 100%. 
Montrose needs to find the stock as soon as possible. That's always that a struggle. We know. Yeah. Look at hey. that. I said it, and apparently Montrose is listening. The man counters the hyper cutter by Kirby and gets an easy kill right there, Stockwell. Yeah, we saw that once at the beginning of the first game, maybe wanting to hold off because it didn't work out how they wanted it to. But now, clearly, if it's going to get stocked, JJ needs to swip, swap, swap up something to make sure that doesn't happen again. True, it feels like JJ has actually been down quite a bit here, Holy but never out again. The forward air into F-Smash conversions, JJ absolutely stealing these stocks early. Montrose, he, he always builds up a good lead, like he's got great percentage, but he can't keep stocks for anything. Yeah, seriously, like it's it's kind of unreal how much Kirby can just find these stocks and, and take them for nothing. That's more damage, but not a kill. Now this is the struggle, though. If Montro starts throwing out these smash attacks a little bit errantly, you know JJ JJ is going to have the peace of mind to punish them super hard. 52%, yeah. like we've saw, so seen Montrose kill or and die at this percent relatively easily. The down tilt scary. Very good. Honestly, Montrose rolling just a bit much. She'll be able to pick that up, honestly. JJ's awareness. Very good. Great Beautiful MC Tomahawk. Hawk. Throw. That'll finish it off. 76%. So now this is the hard part. If Montrose plays patiently, camps it out a little bit, uses his percentage lead to translate that into a positional <laughs> advantage, this might be hard for JJ. Look at the weight. That was beautiful. Just finding that air dodge, getting 42% out of it. Trade. Honestly, not what you want is JJ. You can already get those stocks on Montrose at this percent already. And he's just he's just aerial camping him now. He's using yeah. the upbeat to get away and trying to land far away. But it's like you said, the ROC lag, the after using all of those upbees, Montrose is vulnerable. Now JJ punishing an attempted ledge get up. Gets the upbeat. Montrose has edge. What's he gonna make out of it? Wow, Montrose just continuously going to ledge in a risky situation, but JJ has not been able to find that hit with the tricky movement that Montrose is pulling off. Under 30, so 75%. It, it really does feel like this is just about an even match with the, the crazy things we've seen JJ do. I really want to see Montrose not have this go to another match, but no, JJ cleans it up with the stone from above. Mm -hmm. Now Montrose on the last stock. What does JJ have in this bag of tricks? to clear this stock off early. All right, not landing off stage, not wanting to get witch timed. Very good, seeing as that could have been the set. Ooh, end of up air into back air, that's some damage. Off stage with the forward throw, makes sense. <sighs> Thought it was gonna be a jab block. And at 57% again, again, JJ JJ takes that last stock. <laughs> unreal, genuinely, genuinely unreal. I just, I, I don't know what to say, honestly, because that is, it's heartbreaking, I feel, for Montrose, that is. There's a brutal ending to those games, but I mean, that's just the, the brutality of Kirby. Like, Kirby is a character that can obviously die early and can struggle to find those hits, but man, it finds just a few hits. And especially with Rage, which of course, Bayo is very good at racking up because Bayo